Hey there, I'm John Siskovich, and in 2021, I sponsored about a dozen people to go to the annual American Pasture Poultry Producers Association conference. And in order to get that, win that sponsorship, you had to buy the chicken tractor book, you had to build the chicken tractor, and then you had to raise chickens in it, and then you had to take pictures and share your story and your pictures with me. I have now a dozen case studies of people who have done all of that, and I want to share those case studies in different ways with you in a helpful manner, and all of that is coming full circle, and I feel great about it. So today, Terry Olson. Terry Olson took some pictures of his chicken tractors. We are going to edit them. We're going to take a look at the story that you can tell, and you're going to get a lot of tips on you can take simple cell phone pictures and make the most out of your farm marketing. Let's jump into today's video. That was cheesy. We're going to keep it. All right, so this is one of my favorite photographs that I received from another person raising chickens in my chicken tractors, and that sun in the background with the dramatic backlight, it doesn't show up on this screen quite as well, but my good friend Paul is gonna put it as full screen with the original image right now, and you'll see that we have these long dramatic shadows coming off of these chicken tractors, and uh, I've got a lot to work with here. First off, we're gonna go simple edit, really simple edit. Over here, and if you have an Android, there's something like this. If you have an iPhone, it looks very much like this. I'm on an iPad right now. I normally edit my photos in Adobe Lightroom, which is a little bit more technically advanced, and it's great for me to like build an archive. We're gonna make it all cell phone available this year, 2021. So auto, we're gonna hit auto, and that bumped up some of the light in the background gave us a little bit more contrast that's great but right now this this image kind of looks like this like you were standing on uneven ground or one leg was shorter than the other so we're going to go into crop and straighten and look for a straight line and here we have a collection of straight lines where we have straight lines here 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 we have the tower in the background and because I'm pretty even with the tower in the background. My main focus is going to be this rectangle in the center and making sure that my verticals, I've got my 90 degree angles, and it kind of balances the horizon. Everything kind of comes into, clicks into place. Instead of just feeling like you're on a boat listing to one side, you level it out and it, it adds a professionalism to your photographs that takes, you saw how fast I did that, it took no time at all. Now, I have, I'm off balance because I got more of this chicken tractor and less of this chicken tractor. So maybe we'll zoom in because it's not the number of chicken tractors, it's that it's the dramatic effect. And we wanna balance the photograph a little bit. So I'm gonna come in from the side just a little bit. And as I do this, I'm seeing that in my rule of thirds, I want this to be my center. And if that's in my center and I'm off balance, I can either retake that picture again in the future, or just commit to this is my center, this is a good view, and then this one just happens to be off to one side. Uh, nothing to do with marketing or photography. I Well, it has to do with photography. When you zip tie the tarp on, or if you zip tie the um, chicken wire to the conduit like I have in the plans, cut the tails off so you don't get the porcupine effect, unless you like it. I think it's a little cleaner and neater uh, to go through, have a five gallon bucket with you and a pair of um, diagonal cutters, dikes, and, or scissors, and snip all those off. Gives you a cleaner edge, and because right now, that white, those white burrs are a distraction as they contrast with the darker areas. And my photograph, this pulls focus, where I want the focus to be the drama of the light and not of the porcupine chicken tractor. So we've got a nice balanced picture. I did my auto uh, correction or my auto um, like light balance and everything. I don't like it in square as much because you lose too much of the other interest and it becomes boring. So I'll do a five by seven, uh, which are my two go-to uh, sizes, either one by one or five by seven, and balance my image with something in the middle, something in the top, something in the foreground because I have a dark, darker area here uh, I can do some text, put my company website, I can do nothing. 
when you're uploading it to Instagram or something that likes square images, you can choose to have it be rectangular and long and widescreen. But this shows that you were either out in the evening or up early in the morning, depending on where the sun is. And you were able to capture this moment in time. You were linger grazing, appreciating what your birds were doing. And I have spent enough time on this photograph, so we are going to back out of it. Now, if the sun is behind you and it's shining right on your chicken tractors, see how flat this is, right? So we're going to go into edit. We're going to hit auto automatically. Here's auto off and auto on. It just adds a nice little balance and color and vibrancy to everything. <clears throat> Shooting in vertical is great because you can use them for Instagram stories, Facebook stories, um, you know, social media, social sharing apps where your phone is aligned vertically. Um, there is a place for vertical photography in the world. Because this one shows it so well, we're like this again, you know, two seconds just to straighten her out. And there, oh, so much nicer. And because my door is a little off center, I'm gonna come in just a little bit and then make sure that I'm in nine by 16, uh, which is the aspect ratio that you want for being on the phone. When I cropped it to nine by 16, you see I had more grass down here. Great for a message not as great for just a standalone image but if you were to put a hashtag in an instagram story or something you can or a button call to action you could put that right here farm name logo like a knockout logo which is like one color in white here to add some contrast if you wanted it as a standalone picture come down a little bit <clears throat> that puts your chickens in this line right here on that bottom third line that intersection you can see it when i I'm editing just a little bit, boom. Um, and it cuts my picture into three where I've got the weeping willows in the background. I'm a sucker for willows. I just like my favorite tree. And then the chickens and the grass on the bottom. And then in the middle, we've got the chicken tractor uh, and that open air. And you can have that conversation about, I go in with my birds every day because here's my access door and they have fresh air, but they are safe from the elements because of the tarp right here. And they're living outside. And you can talk about your production methods with your customers by having a photograph there with you. Nothing will change somebody's mind like an actual picture of you in action doing it. Now, we have a net around here. This looks like a Premier One uh, sheep and goat fence where it's got larger squares. And this is not necessarily to let the birds out, but you can have the fence around them get several moves without moving the fence and then move the fence. You know, it's like chicken tractor moves fence and then move a chicken tractor. And then you're at the edge of your fence and you got to refence again and move the chicken tractor. And you only have to move the fence every like three or four days versus every day. And uh, you're not fencing to keep the birds in, you're fencing to keep stuff out. Uh, you can have a conversation about predators. You can have a conversation about your land. You can have a conversation about the management of the birds and them being out on grass and how long does the grass have to be. And you can get a lot from this one photograph. It's taken in the middle of the day. If we look at the shadows, they're pretty straight up and down. Uh, there's not a lot of drama with it being angular light, but uh, a very good practical photograph. This, uh, and you'll see more of these in the family episode later this week, is a good way to take a picture of your kid without showing their face because the internet is a terrible, awful, wild west of a place. You're involved with family, you're a family man or woman, uh, you're raising your kids on the farm and teaching them farm ideals, and you don't have to see their face, which you can't get scanned by anything. And when they're older, they can decide what their internet presence is without you having, you know, you can share it, tell the story, and maintain a lot of your kids' privacy. And just because I'm a sucker for turkeys, we're going to hit auto. We're going to go ahead and straighten it out. See, see our back line right here. Tough, tough. So we're going to just get it straight. Maybe we'll go back in here. And because this is so dark, 
I'm going to bump up the brightness just a little bit. Our exposure is going to come up. And then we're going to go all the way to the end with vignette. Vignette adds a little darkness around the edges. So if I bump the exposure up and then add a little vignette, you know, here's it dramatically dark. It goes from the focus being a little flatter to the focus being centered on that turkey. This is all the way at 100%. I don't publish that 100%. But you can add in like 8%. And it just rounds off the corners just a little bit. Pull your focus into the center to talk about your turkey. You can talk about how your turkeys are fed, how they're managed, how they're moved, how you're raising them, what breed uh, you're raising. You could even put like $6 a pound um, deposits due by October 1st. Uh, on this image, use it and share it and sell your turkeys if you need to do that. Or just put together a family photo album with the photographs that you've taken. So I want to thank Terry for sending in all of these photographs. Terry won a spot at the annual APA conference. It was all about pasture poultry. You're with producers who are much more talented than I uh, and better at teaching the practicalities of raising various types of poultry in an interspecies management intensive grazing system. Uh, it's all very approachable. And then there's people who don't know as much as you do, there's who are raising their first 10 birds and figuring it out. Uh, it's a great place to be. The annual membership's like 60 bucks. You can go to appa.org uh, if you want to become a member. I am a paying member, and they're now not giving me any money for this plug. I do it because I appreciate them, I love them, and they're my community. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helps. I am enjoying this week immensely. And until next time, I will see you out in the field. Hmm.